Hello everyone. I wanted to show you how to use the tools on make8bitart.com. When you go to the website, sometimes you'll see a gray and white box background. Other times you'll see just a solid background. We have a few different controls up here. So this one that says make 8-bit art, where it says what is it, important save. We're going to move this over a little bit. This one we'll need at the end because that's where we'll save our picture. Now the other tools are important. We have our color picker, so you can just click to change the color that you're using. If you hit X, you're closing it, so you don't want to do that. If you just grab this icon, though, this lets you move it so that you can kind of use the entire page. This other toolbar is really important. This one gives you your different tools, so you could use a pencil, you could use a big old paint bucket. There's also a cut, paste, and copy tool down here that you can use, but for the most part, we're using these ones. You also can control your brush size, so you could use bigger pixels or smaller pixels. So I'm gonna begin by making a B. So I've picked the color yellow, I make sure that I've clicked the pencil, and now I can just start to draw the shape where I want for the bee's body. And to fill in, I can click the bucket tool. Now we'll go back and add my bee's stripes. And if you ever don't like something, like if I don't like how that first one is, I can click undo and then I can redo it. Can I add an eye for my bee? like that, and I can stick on some wings. And I think I want my stripes a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, when you're done, you can save it by going back to that box I told you about. Here, let's move this so we can see it. There it is, make it 8-bit art. You want to hit this import save okay and it brings up another little window for you to look at so you kind of have to manage your screen all right now the top says import art that's if we're wanting to load a file into this which for right now we don't want to i made this b i want to save my b so i could export the full page or i could export just a selection now since i drew kind of a small b i'm just going to click the selection and it gives me a direction Click and drag to select the area of canvas you want to save. So I'm going to take my cursor up to this corner, click and pull, and I've saved it. And it says I can click or drag my art to save it, or I can upload it to this website. So what I can do is I can just click the B, and I'm just going to pull it off to the side and save it on my computer. Now, I've already made one of these Bs, so it can say, like, it's just telling me that I already have a B in this file named the same thing. So I can just copy it and replace it. And now I have my new B, and it says I've saved my art. I also think if I right-click, I can click Copy Image. And let's see, can I just stick this in a blank document? If I go to Docs. When we try out something new like this, it's fun to um, just see if we can fully use it. Paste. Let's see if that worked. Oh, it did. So I would copy and paste, and I would save your image somewhere where you can save it for later, so that way you'll be able to share it with your classmates. All right, I hope that was helpful for you, and I hope you have fun exploring the tools on make8bitart.com.